Hi guys, this is Dr. Mohammed Osman and today I will be talking about peer identity processing and its attribute. It is basically part of the our perception series and we will be straightforwardly talking about what is peer identity processing. So basically if you have a visualization in front of you and if you want to notice that visualization you have to focus on that visualization that is the uh, simple process for it. But if you don't want to visualize that uh, image or if you don't want to perceive that image what you can do. Basically peer identity processing is about if you don't want to focus and if you don't want to see and visualization if you don't want to percept uh, any visualization or a part of visualization you can still able to store it in your iconic memory because your mind will be focusing on that visualization and it will be processing that uh, visualization in form of iconic memory so it will be drawing your attention to only things which are important to you or uh, important in that visualization so basically how it is important like if you have uh, uh, different coloring techniques if you have different uh, techniques uh, of movement form position length or location so basically these all will be combined together giving you the storage of your pre-attentive processing of your visualization or your what you are perceiving in your mind so we have basically four kind of pre-attentive attribute one is color one is form uh, position and movement so all these four attributes can be combined together used in your uh, visualization and they per perform different uh, kind of perception in your uh, 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 visualization and they will give you a different ideas depending on what kind of attribute is used in the visualization but we have to carefully use these pre attentive attributes as we don't want to uh, use one attribute more than the other attribute and making it uh, overwhelming visualization so we have to carefully map the pre attentive attributes to our uh, visualization so that the perception is accurate we have to use the strongest attribute wisely and we have to uh, use uh, in a balanced approach we don't as we don't want to distract the user from the data we just want uh, the user to analyze the visualization and we want to show the truthful data in our visualization as we have uh, read uh, before we want our data to be similar and visible in our visualization so basically talking about the first one the coloring one if you have uh, this kind of image so and you have different colors in this image and you have different alphabets so basically you will be focusing on the color which is more sharp first and then you are moving on the different color it is just the perception basic technique because unique color will be attracting you and uh, the unique color will be providing a simple idea of you that how many different elements are there so when we are using the color peer data attribute we have to work on all of these things and when we have different attributes we have to also focus on that how much elements can be stored in our memory so we don't want to abuse the uh, color one or we don't want to uh, make that uh, coloring techniques more overwhelming than the other pre attentive attributes so when we are talking about the colors we have to represent the unique data with the unique colors like we have we have different shapes we have different kind of column we have different kind of dimensions so we have to use unique colors for them and we have to uh, use the similar color for the similar kind of data like in previous image if you can see that we have used the red color for b variable we have to use the uh, blue color for d variable and n variable and a variable uh, similarly like we have used other color, other color other color for the other variable so we have to limit the use of colors up to five to seven elements and we have we don't have to use more color that cannot be stored in our short-term memory so as we have studied before the short-term memory has a limited amount of elements in uh, like five to seven so we have to focus on them and we have to use maximum four to five colors in our visualization also we have to choose the color which are not uh, for the color blind people and we have to use them uh, wisely in our visualization so coloring is the basic part of our visualization as we have studied before if you choose the colors good then your visualization will be good if you choose the color bad then your visualization will be bad so similarly like uh, the second attribute is the form attribute which can be further uh, divided into different types of orientation length width size shape and curvature and other that it uh, depend on the uh, shape and size of your visualization and you can also combine it together with the different coloring approaches and different uh, 3d or 2d design approaches and you can also work on the shading and bordering of uh, when you are using the form attributes so basically when we are talking about the form attributes you can see there are six different boxes over here and the user will be analyzing or perceiving the uh, thing which is more different than all the similar images so the basic form concept is like you will be focusing on the item or an element which is different and in the first one uh, there is one diagonal line and similar like in second one there is a bigger line and there is a bold line and then a curvature there is a straight line so basically you will be focusing on the thing those are different in the visualization so uh, the form one focusing on that how can you make the user percept different uh, kind of images in a similar kind of uh, visualization so you have to work on different like in bar chart we use the line chart so that user can analyze what is the average of that 
uh, different data or that visualization similarly like when we are talking about uh, form we also work on shape and size because we can use the shape and size together in our form and form is actually what you will be uh, showing the visualization what will be the user perceiving so basically when we are working on the form variable we work also the shape and size we can use different symbols uh, which can be varying in the length we can also use the area symbol we can also use the volume symbol so that uh, depends and that is different of what you are showing in your visualization so using all the different shapes and size together we can make up a very good visualization similar like when you are using the shape and size we are have to also focus on the absolute scaling and the appearance scaling so basically when we are talking about the absolute scaling we are the focusing on making the visualization similar as we have seen it or i can say that uh, we can we have to make the visualization as according to the original data but we are talking about the appearance scale we have uh, making the visualization to our uh, given space or our given size it can be shorter in length it can be greater in length it can be uh, greater in size it can be shorter in size so that depends what kind of space is available to us so appearance scaling is like the uh, thing or that visualization made by you other than the original size of that visualization so basically focusing on further shape and size as i told like so as i told you that uh, when we are talking about shape and size we also can combine the colors with shape and size so color also help us to analyze and show that which variables are bigger or which data is bigger in our visualization so i have a example over here like if you want to show an image in two form the sm smaller one can be showed with one color and the bigger one can be shown in different colors but we can vary the size like uh, what do you think which one or both uh, looks good so we can use the shape and size according to our analysis and we can use colors with accordingly like uh, in the smaller one if we talk about the right one it has orange in bigger one and the different elements in blue color so uh, we have to use it wisely according to our space given the first one will be taking the space uh, more than the second one so we have uh, uh, work on the visualizations and we have to work on our perception analysis that what user will be analyzing from it and what perspective we want to give to the user so talking about uh, further form shape and size we have position the third variable and when we talk about the position we have uh, two things we have 2d position and we have the 3d position when we are talking about 2d position the elements will not be having a third where third dimension or it will be just visible to you in just for one form so when we are talking about the 2d position the variable will be taking your less space and there will be more variables in a space and when we are talking about the 3d variables and the depth of different variables using the position we have to induce another variable which will be taking more space so both have a little difference you can see that in the right one we are using depth a 3d uh, position and in the first one we have to use the 2d position so as we have talked about we have to use wisely the different uh, perception techniques to show our visualization it is not that we have to just use all the variables in our visualization and we have to uh, show that our uh, elements are just according to our data and the last one we are having over here is the movement the movement works on two things the flick and the motion the flicker is like your elements will be uh, appearing and disappearing according to different uh, time period or a uh, time period given by you motion is that um, uh, thing is moving in position like you have animations and you have different uh, uh, cartoon movies if you can see that or you have videos there is a motion in that in the elements of moving from one place to other so movement is working on uh, moving from one position to another or just uh, coming uh, out in, on the screen and then reappearing or disappearing from the screen it is the most effective way of attention as user have to always focus on it and user have to see that which elements are moving and which are changing in that visualization so animations or videos are the best way to analyze and uh, work and remember things so basically we can remember a movie in a good way but uh, if we have a text format then we will not be able to remember all the things so we have to uh, we uh, this is why we have marketing uh, different ads in our televisions or on our websites and often movement is used wisely and uh, more than the required in those visualization or the movement so basically when we are talking about the movement we have to also work on uh, different elements which is the one of them is the boundaries boundaries is basically how what is the limit of your elements and what is the coloring limit of that element like in first one we have a red one is showing boundary similarly like if you i use the shape the square one is using the boundary and uh, in second third one is the it is a mixed number of shapes in red color and in fourth one there is uh, different boundaries which is showing you different stages or we can say that there are multiple boundaries in one image so we can use coloring and shapes together to show our 
limit over our visualization so or we can make the user perceive that this is boundary and we have to use the colors and the shapes wisely combined together for perceiving or making our visualizations so these elements were part of the pre-entative attributes that user will be using these uh, attributes and it will be analyzing different uh, according to his analysis so uh, this video was up to here so if you like my video do so do visit my youtube channel and like and subscribe to it and if you want to want any certificate the process is as follow i tell you in every video and there is another video with the name of training uh, in our my youtube channel you can view it to get your different certificates so what you are waiting for go to to my youtube channel and like and subscribe to it thank you